good. Um, uh, roundish, big object. Yeah, it looks like a British coin. <laughs> Could it be? Looks like a penny to me. Uh, I can see something, but. that's nearly sure oh, I clean it and show you all right it is a coin uh, but it's pretty pretty worn but what I can see is uh, there is a let me show it there is a lion with a shield in his hand and there is the word I can read it's uh, centimos um, the lion with a shield in his hand reminds me of Venice in, it, in Italy. So, right now I would assume it's an Italian coin and a pretty old one, around 1900 I would guess. This mock won't come off so uh, I have to clean it at home and show you. But anyway, this is the first uh, nice find today. A second coin, a lot of trash. But uh, actually I've been here and uh, hammered this place a lot of times so I'm at my usual spot and I'm just you know running through the wood actually and uh, trying to see if I uh, missed something and obviously I have so um, nice one nice first one moving on That's beautiful. Um, I guess it's modern because the AK-47, as we might well know, is, uh, was invented, no, was put into action or into, you know, rotation or whatever. The Soviet Army was supplied with the AK-47 in uh, 1947. So this is a rifleman's patch and it's, interesting because it's not aluminium like usual the Soviet badges are aluminium but it's brass and it's kind of beautiful all right moving on this is a strange find look I found a pin of some sort it's uh, NDPD it's the National Democratic Party of Germany but it's the the East German party and then in the same hole there was this and this is a <laughs> is a East German Wehrdienst Ausweis it's a soldier's document uh, for uh, for his duty. Oh, and there is a fucking sorry big dog tag of the East German Army. Yeah, uh, one can't see the picture anymore. It would be here, but let's have a look at the dog tag because. In East Germany they had... Uh, no, they hadn't. I thought they had clear names on it, but... It's only... The number. Amazing find. Amazing find. And there's even more. Ah, there was more. Uh, hmm, yeah, I don't know what that is. Strange is the little... A uh, plastic cupboard with the whitish stuff in it. <sighs> amazing find, amazing find. Um, the AK-47 hole is there, so I guess it wasn't uh, a Soviet soldier's um, 
rifleman's badge it was a GDR so just rifleman's badge man that is cool I hope the documents you could get something from it so I will put it in my bag and uh, try to be very careful woohoo what a find what a find moving on And another thing popped up, look at that, it's a kind of a badge. I haven't looked at it closely. Ooh, yeah. I clean it and show you. Yes, my probably last find of today is a nice one. It's a very old coin. It's one finish from 1822. 22 is my lucky number, so woohoo! So this video for sure will be, uh, will have a second part, so I'm not saying goodbye or anything, so, um, but uh, on to the next one and uh, another day. Bye bye. Sorry to disturb you again, but I just found another one Heller, 1830, uh, 1863. I'm not sure if this is a silver coin, but hey, wow! I was walking this way to my car so often. It's uh, right behind those trees. Uh, anyway, you know what the car looks like. Uh, and never found anything but now. Okay, but now on to the next one. Good morning everyone. Um, I'm back at my usual spot and this is going to be the last hunt for a couple of weeks. Uh, so I started very early and I start the day with a little a tiny piece of scrap silver and this reminds me I found in an uh, area not so far from here a uh, part of a lid of a pocket watch with which had had the exactly the same pattern on it so I assume it's part of that nice anyway all right moving on Um, I found another two pieces of this scrap silver thing uh, Nice anyway, and now I had a target and uh, this one popped out. I haven't looked at it yet. It's uh, Obviously a coin It's a bit too a bit too big for a German one or I don't know that one so Let's see together what it is Oh, I can see a head. Uh, can't decipher any writing yet. Oh, let's check the other side first. It's not a German coin, as far as I know. It's not aluminium. It's uh, some kind of an alloy. can't make out what that is. Um, I clean it a bit and uh, try to say what it is. Um, this is a strange one. It's uh, what I guess is Italian. Uh, what I could read so far is uh, one couldn't see it so good. Right. Right here is the date it states 1861 and here is a number it's five 
and it's Centimos again or Centaves, I don't know. But what I can see so far, I know who this guy is, or at least I think so. This is Italian because this is Emporio. Wait, let me check that if it's moist, you could decipher more. No, it's not Emporio, it's Vittorio Emanuele, the second or third Italia. Re Reini or Rex, or I don't know, Italia. It's an old Italian coin. 1861, it, it's Vittorio the third then. It's uh, the king of Italy who was only, I read something about him, he was only one meter and 56 high. That would be uh, four foot and something. He was a, a midget. Always bad to have a midget as your boss, as we all know. All right, this is a nice coin, moving on. Oh, first I thought it was a, a modern toy, but it isn't. It's a little bit silvery, shiny. It seems like a... Oh, I know what that is. It's a ring. It's not a clasp. It's a ring. It's a junk ring for sure, but it's a ring not nonetheless. I clean it and show you. All right. It's a... Uh, a little bit ornate here, very nice. It's copper though, but it's got a very nice, nice, a little bit chipped off here. Very nice glass stone in it. Mm, like it, nice find. All right, moving on. I uh, found a German dog tag, German Wehrmacht, as far as I know. Some um, prisoners of war had the same. So let's clean it and I'll show you, all right? So it's not of a German soldier, it's a prisoner of war. If you moisten it a bit, one can read very fairly Stalag. 326 and then some Roman lettering which I guess it's V slash K and the number was 68650 again whoa moving on mobile internet is uh, rules you know so I was right it's not 5k it's 6k uh, Zenne is near Bielefeld, it's uh, Western Germany. What well, this has to do in a building forest, hmm, I can just assume. But, creepy find again, moving on. I just recovered the other side, which relaxed me a bit because um, if you just find one side with one hole, it's usually the one they take when you're dead. and the, this one with the two holes stays with your body. So, two of them, hopefully he survived. All right, moving on. Ooh, you see what I see? Uh, a little coiny, little coin popped up and it looks, uh, I don't know. The size, it's not a 10 Reichspfennig, so it would have the size, but it's not, so let's check together. Oh, it looks, oh, where is it? It looks silverish, right? There it is. Wow! Woohoo, it's silver, alright. 
Equipment Mug A, Berlin, and it is, wow, it's a wartime World War II half mark from 1914, wow, what a nice coin. I have a, a Mark coin, uh, two or three, I guess, from that era, but uh, this is the first for me. Half Mark, Deutsches Reich, 1914. Woo! In the last five minutes I said, uh, oh my god, I'm uh, getting demotivated, I need a motivator. And it was heard. Yes! What a nice coin. Happy with that. The silver streak continues. <laughs> Moving on. Friday the 13th. Look at what I found here. It's uh, the biggest meat cleaver I, I've ever seen in my life. And I was working in a Butcher shop. No, just kidding. Um, whoa! And it's uh, stainless, so I'm gonna take this with me. Cool. Not exactly what I want to find, but uh, nice find. Anyway, moving on. Life dig. 95 in every direction, and it sounds incredible. As always, I predict silver. If it's not, I won't show you. I moved it. Do you see what I see? Ooh, la 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 la. It's not silver. And it's not a. Ah, <laughs> is it silver? It's König in the Niederlanden. That's for sure. And it's one. Ooh, nice one. Shut up. It is silver. Look at that. It's one golden. Sorry. It's one golden from 1930. But I don't know if that's, that's silver because look at her face. Beatrix, ne, Wilhelmina. I found 10 cents with her. Uh, bust on it and it was silver so I guess this it's heavy let's hear how it sounds definitely silver definitely woohoo look at that beautiful coin one golden how on earth Amazing, amazing, this makes my day. The second silver for today, a half mark and a huge one gulden. Gulden, gilden, I don't know. Mr. Krabinay always says one gilden cent. Uh, so, uh, look, look, look. Woohoo, moving on. Sometimes, <laughs> life's crazy. You know, I was packing up, uh, I was bagging the coin, I was uh, packing up my rucksack, putting my camera in, uh, putting my gloves on, rechecking my hole, and you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it carries me away. Um, look at that. 
there's another one in the same, uh, you know, uh, uh, clot of earth. Oh, and this time it's with a guy. It's... Huh? This is British. Is it? Yeah. Oh my fucking god. Sorry. Is it? The half crown, right? Uh, wait, uh, I clean it and show you. Uh, <laughs> uh, will you look at that? This is one florin, a British silver coin. I guess from the state of it, it's only 60% silver. Uh, but nonetheless, it's George the Fifth, me old friend. <laughs> and do you know where I am? I am in the there and there. I found those Soviet silver coins and the uh, five mark piece of silver, and there I found a two mark piece of silver, and here I found two coins one netherland coin uh, come here me little beauty and british one florin so whoa somebody had it with the silver coins here it's international silver fields wow what a day <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> ah, I think there's another one. I have another crisp signal in the same hole. And uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. Something is there. Yeah. <laughs> Can you see it? There. Another one. What will it be this time? Man, this is incredible. Wow. <laughs> What's that? Look at that. I can't believe my luck. Is it George? Is it another George? Looks like George the Sixth. Uh, <laughs> wait. Wait, 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 wait. George the thick the six one shilling nineteen forty four. <laughs> Whoa, this is a there's a thistle and a clover leaf. Is it a Scottish? I don't know. Wow! The third silver coin. Big silver in one hole. <laughs> okay, now I do it live. Is there another one? Right. one first there still is a signal 
Okay, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll dig it. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. I don't know if that's, if that's a silver coin, but still there is a signal. A pretty high one. I haven't got a number right now. Oh God, I'm so uh, excited. Come on, where are you? You little beauty. There you are. It's a coin, all right. It's a silver coin again. <laughs> I just, uh, a British again, right? 3D. No. Denmark? I don't know. No, this is a George. George the six nineteen. <laughs> What's happened here? Nineteen. Can't read it. Is it? Oh, where's the date? I clean it and show you. Right, it's a silver sixpence from 1944. <laughs> uh, four silver coins, three big ones, one small one in one hole. In and I, I. There's a little path, and I walked here. Uh, I don't know. Ten times I walked along here and. Uh, didn't swing my coal over that beauty spot. So I'm, you know, I'm gonna dig and dig and dig and let's see what else there is to find. Uh, <laughs> wait. Oh, I don't know. I'll be back. I found a little helicopter, very nice. Um, yeah, it's a little bit uh, broken, but you know, it's still got its rotor blades, so it might as well fly again. Um, I didn't found, uh, didn't find any silver coin more, <laughs> like the, I, I don't know how much I have five or six today I found a lot of other stuff which I was uh, which I didn't film because I'm totally exhausted um, I'm here till seven o'clock at the boarding right now I guess it's uh, six in the evening so um, it was a long day yeah I'm going back to the car now and uh, if I won't pop again like usual Thank you for watching my video and uh, good luck and happy hunting to all of you. Bye bye.